Mama said you never talked about what kind of career you wanted to have or what kind of person you wanted to be. It was always about what kind of father you wanted to be. You were a stay-at-home dad until I turned 14. At every single soccer game, dance performance, piano recital, I saw a tower of muscular limbs coated in warm brown skin and silver hair gelled to perfection, as any Italian-American man would ensure. Every week, you volunteered at my school, and even though you were mine, I'd have to fight off the other kids for your affection. Everyone was so desperate to be your friend. You taught me the importance of education and battling for the goals I wanted to achieve, never letting me forget that I could do anything I put my mind to. Much later, I learned why you did the things that you did. Without a father in your life and a mother working multiple jobs to keep you both afloat, there were no familiar faces in the crowds of your football games or track races, so you never failed to be at mine. The reason you spent all that time at my school and why you were so coveted was because you were there to spend time with young boys like you without a father figure in their lives. What shocked me most was you never went to college. You were so passionate about my education, and having grown up in Boston, it only made sense to me that you had attended Harvard. But the truth is, you never had the chance. Not after your mom got so sick. I loved that you were never afraid to wear your heart on your sleeve. Everyone in your life knew exactly how much they meant to you. I remember when my best friend came out as bisexual. You said with tears in your eyes how proud of him you were, and if anything were to go wrong, he would always have a home with us. I remember when one of your Home Depot employees told me you were the only person who would listen to his ideas and find a way to make them happen. I remember when I was struggling with things at school, you left a note on my mirror saying, Lulu, you make me so very proud. You never left anything unsaid. Everything you felt, you felt with such power and passion. In a way, I'm just like you. I remember driving home from an early morning soccer practice. You had just found out that I had been playing with an injured hip and back, and the damage had reached the point of being irreversible. You were angry at me for not saying anything and letting it go so far and angry at yourself for not seeing it. Maybe it was the pain or the guilt, but I was furious too. We yelled and we fought and we unleashed every emotion in our tool belts. We didn't make up until the next day. You wanted more than anything for me to have the opportunities that you never did. You are my number one fan, my biggest supporter. You were supposed to pick me up from school that day, the day you died. We had plans together, but no one ever came. That was so unlike you. I told myself you got caught up in your workshop and had the Foo Fighters blasting too loudly to hear your phone. A friend invited me over. I didn't want to go, but for some inexplicable reason I went. Had I come straight home, I would have been the one to find you there on the dining room floor, but I didn't. To this day, I think you had something to do with that. Mama asked someone to pick me up from my friend's house, and at that point I knew something was wrong. It was late, already dark out. We had to make a stop, and I was left alone in the car. I called Mama and begged her to tell me the truth. 
Baby, Daddy is dead. I remember running, bare feet patting the concrete of a strange neighborhood. I started screaming. How could you leave me? You were supposed to watch me graduate. You were supposed to walk me down the aisle. You were supposed to be a grandfather. You aren't done. But maybe you were because you raised me to be able to do all that on my own. Mama said you never talked about what kind of career you wanted to have or what kind of person you wanted to be. It was always about what kind of father you wanted to be. You wanted to be strong for us, you needed to be. You wanted to teach us to be able to stand on our own two feet. You wanted to raise two powerful girls with radiating confidence and courage in our bones. And you did. You raised a whirlwind. Now, I'm here sitting in my grief and drowning in its anger. I actually miss our fights. You were the only person in my life who wasn't afraid to show rage and could handle it thrown back in your face. Without you here, it boils and brews within me with no outlet for escape. Looking back, it seems silly to me to think that something like death could stop you from being my number one fan. I know now you're just cheering me on from a different set of bleachers with your mother, pointing and saying, that there, that's my girl. Thank you.